Cannabis has an inclusivity problem. So we created Canaclusive to be a collective that supports inclusive businesses. We want to facilitate fair representation of marginalized people in the industry. We educate, advocate, and promote. We create curated experiences, thoughtful content, and dynamic visuals. Canaclusive makes it easier for brands to communicate with diverse audiences and ensures consumers are not an afterthought. We are a valued ally in the fight for legalization of and the stigmatization of cannabis. Our goal is to keep black, brown, women, indigenous, LGBTQIA plus people and other marginalized identities in the mix at every single level. Unfortunately, cannabis does not have the best track record on portraying women or people of color who use the plant. Women are over-sexualized and somehow every black person who uses cannabis is a stereotype of a Bob Marley Rasta knitted cap. We aim to create varied photo sets that highlight a range of people with cannabis in various scenarios, at home, with friends, at the gym, and at work. We even have a holiday set. These images are meant to normalize both the plant and those who consume it. Soccer moms and city dwellers have found benefits. So why is only one group's image celebrated? The cannabis industry is booming. But who holds the power? Women and people of color have been too hard to find in the cannabis space. Family, friends, and people who follow us on social media were always seeking our assistance to find cannabis brands owned by women and people of color. So we saw that there was a need for a convenient place to find these companies and these small businesses. We created Inclusive Base so consumers can locate brands and resources that reflected their values and where people look like them. Collectively, marginalized groups have a tremendous amount of buying power. If we want Black, Indigenous, Latine, Asian, Pacific Islander, LGBTQIA+, and women-owned businesses to thrive in this industry, we have to support them. Anyone can advocate for cannabis legalization. People of color have been criminalized disproportionately by law enforcement thanks to these so-called war on drugs. We look for expungement of those drug convictions so that those who want to be involved in the industry can actually do so. It's important for us to show up and demonstrate that we want cannabis legalized and we want it now. Write a letter to your representatives at the city and state level. Call them, email them, show up at a town hall, show up at meetings. Support organizations that are in the space, whether at a state or a federal level. Vote yes on provisions that will lead the way for legal, medical, recreational, and equitable cannabis. Most importantly, demand that the people who have been harmed by the war on drugs are free. With clean records and able to participate in what will be a nearly $30 billion industry by 2025.